Hello and welcome to Follow Me and Die. I'm your host Larry Hamilton and today on Roll 20 for the Absolute Beginner will be episode number 14 using Character Mancer to create characters. Character Mancer is a very fast way that automates the filling out of the character sheet in Roll20 for a D&D 5th edition character. The Character Mancer is available in all tiers, the basic free tier, and both paid tiers. And the Character Mancer reminds me of the process in D&D Beyond that is used to create a character. Now I'm only talking about the, similar, the similarities between how the Character Mancer works similarly to the way the D&D Beyond character generation works. There is no way to import the character between those two places. I'm just talking about their similarity. Now at this time from what I can tell there are no other rule sets that use the character Mancer even though in their announcement they indicated other rules would use it and character Mancer is specific to the character sheet. So there's something about the character sheet that is built to use the character Mancer. And I haven't dug into it further to see if there's any way to use the character Mancer in a pro account to work with your own uh, preferred rule set. Um, that would be uh, way beyond the beginner level. Um, so the uh, Character Mancer is used for D&D 5e and you have to use the Roll20 specific character sheet. So you have to have a campaign that is set to use 5e. So under settings, game settings, it'll say character sheet template and you want to make sure it says D&D 5e by Roll20. If it does, then you're all set. So you launch your game, and this is available to both game masters and players. And let's create a new character. Let's call it Character Mancer. If uh, you want your players to be able to use it, you have to make sure it's in the journal for the specific player and that they can edit it. So once you create it, they can go in to the character sheet and do the character mancer. So once you've created your character, whether it's a NPC or uh, the game master's doing it for the players or the game master's just getting the character in so that the player can proceed. Because the game master is the only one who can create the sheet to start with. You've got to have the beginnings of the sheet created by the Game Master, but the rest of the process can be done by the players if the Game Master gives players control. So once you save it, as soon as you go to the Character Sheet tab, it will ask, do you want to use the Character Mancer, create an NPC, or edit the sheet directly? So the Create an NPC just does a basic NPC layout like you see in the uh, back of the monster manual or I believe even the back of the dungeon master's guide will be and I believe also the player's handbook it's been a while since I looked at those but it'll look familiar it'll have the basic stat block and you can add whatever you need to for your NPC or you can do it the hard way as you do with every other game or before the character mancer start typing in and fill out the boxes so if you choose use the character mancer It'll take you to the first screen and you just work your way through from start to review and when you're done you update it. Uh, you can, I'm not sure why you would opt out because if you opt out you're not using the character mancer. If you don't want to do this now you can uh, hit the X. There's a back to top which doesn't make sense to be here since there's not a scroll bar. And then the next button. So you can either click the buttons across the top or just hit next. When you do, it'll ask you what to do. Uh, it is available for the system reference document, which is available if you don't purchase the player's handbook. The player's handbook gives more options. And then I believe there are a couple other uh, 
um, books that you can purchase that add their features like uh, the Ravnica book and I believe uh, Tomb of Annihilation uh, I'm not specific on sure on the specifics of that I just have the SRD because I have not purchased the player's handbook in roll 20 so you choose a race and uh, I'm just gonna go with an SRD means system reference document that's the free rules that you can download off of the Wizards of the Coast website that has the basics of what you need to play if you want more than this then you'd either have to uh, customize well to get the character master to work the only way to do it would be to buy the player's handbook or another book that has what you want in it so I'm just going to choose a dwarf and you notice it goes to the next page as soon as I do and it has uh, specifics on the right will be all the specifics from the rules and the left will be all your options you can specify let you know it's going to bump the ability score by two for the alignment let's just choose lawful good um, tool proficiencies as a dwarf let's do smith tools and then you get the basic languages and then you've got your speed and other abilities you can choose a sub race the SRD only has hill dwarf if you don't mountain dwarf again you've got to have the player's handbook and then you hit next and you choose a class I'm going to do a cleric so you can see how spells work on this and then uh, you get your skill proficiencies uh, let's just choose history and insight and then it talks a little bit about it actual casting and do the divine domain since it's the system reference document there's only the life domain so again if you want more options you've got to buy the player's handbook that's if you want the character master to work you don't have to pay any money to get the character master to work and then it talks about the other things and it, more explanations then I can either hit next or abilities to go to abilities so then on ability score method there's choose and custom and okay, we'll do custom so then you have to input and you can either use the standard array that would be something handy to have right there so you know what it is so you can either plug in your numbers or do the rolls well, if the standard array is in here it's not showing up so let's just and you can choose a background there's only one background for the uh, SRD or you can do custom so custom would be I guess you type in everything yourself I'll just choose acolyte and you get some additional languages let's just choose work and under common and personality traits there's a roll button so you want to be on the chat window you can see the results of your roll and let's just go with the default and you can see it puts result of the roll down here so you can go through this pretty fast if you choose the options or you can click the drop down and choose directly from the drop down whichever uh, you prefer and your game master may want to specify that for equipment um, you can do either the class equipment or starting wealth starting wealth means you roll up how much money you start with and you pick I am just going to go with class equipment and I'm going to choose Warhammer and Chainmail, Light Crossbow, Priest Pack, and let's say a Prayer Wheel. Next. And then you can choose your spells. So, Cantrip, there's Light, Spare the Dying, that's perfect. And Thaumaturgy, I really like that one. Uh, then of course you're gonna have the life domain spells and you notice they're already gray and it won't let it skips over them I can't even click on it uh, so then what other spells are going to be good so detect poison and disease healing word let's see protection let's say sanctuary 
next and if you wish to have feet um, there's nothing on here for feet uh, but if you decide feet are good if the game master decides to allow feet this is where you do those but you've got to be a higher level to deal with that then you go to next and you can do the uh, bio features so you can put in your age that then you can review it all to make sure oh well, look at that I've got something it warns you of mistakes I guess I did that before so let's go back to insight which I already have and let's choose religion we've already got that uh, okay medicine that makes sense then we'll go to review all right, so then you can look for all the things that it catches when you uh, double pick something because you're not supposed to double pick anything. Make sure you get all the things you get. So once everything looks good, you hit apply changes. Then you wait for it to build a character. I did this on Twitch on Friday and it never finished. Okay, so here we go. So um, I think Roll20 was just too busy Friday when I recorded this. So if you go watch, I'll have it linked in the show notes, the one I did on Twitch. Uh, I covered a little bit more than just the character mancer, um, but uh, it didn't fill in all these things here because I got tired of waiting. Um, so then you see that it's got your bonus above each score, and the con is higher than I entered because of a bonus. The wisdom is also higher. Um, and it checked all the boxes that need to be checked. It put in your hit points. Um, all the spells that are available. All the actions from weapons and spells. All the items. And there you go. The, now there's a fully fleshed out character. All that's left is if you want to go to bio and info. Bio. save it and if you're the game master you'll see the GM notes and the player will see the bio both obviously I'm signing as game master um, and then here's a character sheet uh, if we make another new character let's just call this one NPC save it character sheet and it asks you want to create an NPC you just click that and you notice it looks different it's got the different things that you can fill in and then down here at the bottom it's got a standard array of tens across the board and based on whatever you fill in at the top it'll pull the bottom you can add the different actions uh, let's call this uh, awesome attack and you can figure out how that works and obviously you wouldn't want to give this to the player uh, unless it was an NPC that the player could move on the screen so let's close that and come back and if we Click that gear to hide it, we get the basic screen here. So it simplifies for the NPC. That's pretty handy for the character sheets that have an NPC option. And then uh, obviously the other method is if you tell it edit the sheet directly, there you go. Uh, I don't see a way to run the character mancer if you want so you just have to start over um, it's uh, so that's basically all there is to it uh, I'll have links to similar or related videos in the show notes from prior things where I've talked about getting a character in the main things to remember 
there's no way to import the character sheet from another source. There is a way that I'll talk about in the next episode to use the character vault to import a character from another campaign into your personal character vault and the game master can import characters in their own games to the character vault and then you can export from your character vault to another campaign but it needs to be a campaign with the same rules so for example you don't want to go from a D&D 5e campaign to a fate campaign because the character sheets are different and I don't know what it would do to your data on your character sheet it might even break the campaign uh, so that's the one thing you need to keep in mind for that but that'll be our next episode hopefully I'll get that a couple days out after this one uh, and there's not a way to get the data out of roll 20 to use in another format other than to open up the screen and do a screen print of some, in some manner whether you take a screenshot or you try to do a control P to print what's on the screen unless there's a way to do that through the uh, scripting in the pro account but that's way beyond the beginner and as I said it is only similar in the character mancer it is only similar in functionality to D&D Beyond's method of automating there is no way to move characters between the two other than typing so I hope you found this helpful and I hope you all are in good spirits doing well getting along with those you live with and if you live alone I hope you're not too isolated and able to connect over the internet and as always game on